Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about what is data adding with real life example as well as practical example. Then we are going to discuss about why do we need data adding. That is, what is the purpose of data adding in Java. Okay. So let's get started. So data adding is one of the important feature of object oriented programming. So what is it exactly and why do we need of it? All we are going to discuss in this tutorial. So just keep watching till end. You will clearly understand it. Okay. So let's understand. First, let's understand it with a real life scenario. Okay. So let's assume that there is one company and some employees are working there. And company wants to keep record of all the employees data such as employee name, employee ID, employee address and so on. And all employee data should be safe so that outsider cannot access it easily. Right. And to keep employee data safe, we need to hide employee data so that outsiders cannot see it easily. And hiding of data or to secure data from outsiders is nothing but the data hiding. Now let's implement it practically so that you will get a clear view about it. Okay. So as I said before, there is one company and some employees are working there. So if we relate it programmatically, then employees will be objects and employee data will be objects data. So let's create employee object. But to create employee object, first we will need to create employee class because class is a prototype from which object can be created. Right. So first let's create employee class. Class employee. And each employee has its own information or data such as employee ID. employee name and employee address so this is employee data or we can say object data now we need to secure employee data so that outsiders cannot access it easily right so let's declare this employee data as private so just write here private access modifier and here also we will need to write private and here also as well now this employee data is private that is secure and therefore this data is not accessible for outsiders. That means outside class cannot access it easily. It only accessible within the same class. So if we think here we have hide object data or object field or object variables that is instance variables by declaring it as private right so that outsiders cannot access it easily. And this concept is nothing but the data hiding. So basically data hiding is the concept of hiding of data or secure data from the outside access of class. Clear? So as I said before, there is one company and some employees are working there and each employee has its own data and we need to secure that data. So here we have secure employee data using private access modifier so that outside class cannot access it easily right but in future company wants to provide pickup and drop service that is cap service to some of those employee so if I create here another class and it suppose cap service class now this cap service class want employee data such as employee name and employee address to provide them pickup and drop service so instead of creating new employee data we can access already created employee data which is available in employee class but problem is that employee data is declared as private right and private data is not accessible outside of the class and if we try to access private data outside of class then compiler definitely will raise an error you can see here so let's create employee object inside main method of cap service class okay employee e equals to new employee and let's access employee name using employee object directly inside println methods so we can write e dot employee name and here we will need to provide employee name and if suppose x y z so here we are trying to access employee name outside of class that is into cap service class. Now let's run the code and let's see what will happen. 
you can see here compiler is an error the field employee name is not visible that is employee name is not visible outside of class because it's private right so basically point is we cannot directly access private data outside of class because we have secured this object data by using private access modifier so basically data hiding helps to provide security to the program by hiding objects data from direct access and this is the main purpose of data hiding clear now coming to the point if we cannot directly access private data outside of class then how we can access employee data in cap service class because cap service class want employee data to provide pick up and drop service to the employee right so always remember we cannot access private data outside of class but we can access private data outside of class in control way or in a authorized way now question comes that how right so let's understand how we can access private data outside of class in authorized way or in a control way so for that we will need to use setters and getter methods basically in programming setters methods are used to set or update value to the private member variables whereas getter methods are used to get or to access value of private member variables as well as we can put code for validation inside setter and getter methods so that only valid users can access it outside and hence it is said that we can access private data outside of class by using setter and getter methods in control way or in authorized way okay clear so let's create setter and getter methods so first of all we will need to set or assign value to the private instance variables that is we will need to set or assign values to these employee class fields or instance variables and we can do it using setter method and we cannot assign value to the private variables like this at the time of variable declaration it consider as a bad programming practice and most importantly we cannot show private data directly like this so just remove this from here because we are going to set or assign value to the variables using setter method so let's create setter method and remember setter method always start with word set okay so we can write set value set values okay and this method won't return anything because the job of this method is only to set value to the private instance variables okay so the return type of this method should be void because this method won't return anything and pass here parameters to which we have to set values so we have to set values to the employee name and employee address right so we can write string employee name okay and string employee address and write here employee name equals to employee name okay similarly we can write for employee address so we can write employee address equals to employee address okay all right and one more thing declare this method as public so that we can access this method from outside that is we can call it from outside so basically setter and getter methods should be public so that we can access it outside of class that's it nothing we have to do so this is our setter method now let's define getter method and getter method also should be always start from word get so we can write get employee name and this method is going to return employee name and employee name is of string type and therefore the return type of this method should be string and simply return employee name okay 
and declare this method as public so the job of this method is to return or to get employee name similarly we will need to create one more getter method to get employee address so we can write public string get employee address and return employee address okay all right so this is our setter method and these are our getter method and now first let's set value using set value method so for that we will need to call this set value method from cap service class using employee class object because this set value method is belong to employee class so here employee class object i have already created okay and comment out this line and right here e dot set value method and pass here values or argument that will match to this parameters so employee name suppose x y z okay and employee address suppose pqrs so at the time of execution when the set value method get call then the employee class set value method will invoke and this employee name will set to this local variable employee name and this employee address will set to this local variable employee address and then will assign to this instance variable employee name and employee address accordingly okay all right now let's access employee name and employee address using getter methods so for that we will need to call getter method that is get employee name method and get employee address method okay so we can call it directly inside print element method so we can write employee name e dot get employee name method similarly we can call get employee address method okay so we can write employee address e dot get employee address okay all right and here we can add backslash n for new line okay backslash n for new line now let's run the code let's see you can see here we have got employee name xyz and employee address pqrs so in this way we can access private data outside of class by using setter and getter methods so basically here i am trying to say that private data or hidden data is not directly accessible outside but we can access it outside in a controlled way or in authorized way by using setter and getter methods so basically data hiding helps to prevent unauthorized access of data and this is the another purpose of data hiding so in this way we can achieve data hiding in java by declaring object fields or instance variable as private and public setter and getter methods clear now let's highlight some points okay so data hiding is the concept of hiding of data or secure the data from the outside access of class okay and second thing to achieve data hiding instance variables must be declared as private and we can access private data outside of class by using setter and getter methods so setter methods are used to set or update value to the private instance variables whereas getter methods are used to get or access private instance variables and remember setter and getter methods should be public so that we can access it outside of class and one more point to be remember is the main purpose of data hiding is data hiding helps to provide security to the program by hiding objects data from direct access clear that's it so i hope you understand what is data hiding and purpose of data hiding now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching